welcome back guys and um, and today we will learn about uh, how to create gmail campaigns and the importance of gmail campaigns yes we understand uh, there's something called email marketing where you you try and create a lead magnet and try and capture all those people who come down to your uh, website and capture their email address and put them into a, a email crm and then push emails and you can create a lot of triggers that that would help you say hey if you open first email then push my second email or if you open my first and second email then push my third email so again when it comes to email marketing you can do all those things you can continue to watch our playlist maybe in future we'll record these videos on email marketing as well but for now we're restricting to google ads and we'll jump into learning something called gmail campaigns right so yeah here you see Right, so this is uh, a new campaign and uh, I've selected display network, display network, you have something called when you select display network campaign, you have two options. First one is a standard display campaign, second one is a Gmail campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create a Gmail campaign. So I select the second option here and then it is asking you to give your website as well. But I, I, I don't recommend anyways you're going to do that when you're creating an ad, but for now let's continue. Now, see what happens is when you create this campaign, it's not it's not like a display network campaign where you target you know certain websites or you target certain topic or category of website or you target certain people. But here, what happens is the placement will be gmail.com. Earlier, if you go back into history, where you know Google had this option where you can directly go and target uh, Gmail by by using this mail.google.com, but now you don't have an option. You directly go uh, create a campaign called Gmail campaign and the other targeting methods that follow. So continue to watch this video, you'll better understand. Now, it will appear in Gmail to, to your target audience, but remember it is not going to appear or your Gmail ad will not appear in the inbox. It would rather appear in the promotion stat. So I will take you through all of them. You can see how it appears. You would have templates as well. You can choose a template that suits your business and your 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 the kind of the content that you're trying to put across. Right? Let's let's just jump in. When I click on continue, I think you you already might be aware how to create a campaign. So if you if you don't know how to create a campaign, go back to the beginning of the playlist. You'll have a lot of videos which talk about uh, what is campaign. Right, so here I'm creating something called I'll use Gmail campaign and I'm targeting entire India so I can choose locations, language, and it's asking me, Hey, what do you want to bid on? You see here, what do you want to focus on? High quality traffic or clicks. So I would say, when I say high quality traffic, remember, high quality traffic is traffic that is likely to lead to actions on your website. So that means your ad will appear or in fact your ad will be served or Gmail ad will be served to those inboxes or to those people who open their Gmails with the intention that these people are more likely to open it and come back to your site and perform the action that you indeed want them to do. So I would go with high quality traffic. Right. So budget again you remember right budget how much you want to spend per day so I say maybe 400 rupees per day. Now you might be aware about delivery you have standard and accelerated standard it will serve you know evenly throughout the day in such a way that your budget is consumed throughout the day it is not your budget is exhausted by 12 o'clock or your budget is exhausted by you know by early afternoon right it, it will serve and stop and serve and stop with the intention it serves throughout the day if you go to accelerated right it will serve until your budget is exhausted so if you want your budget to be exhausted early or in situations where your budget is not getting exhausted you can go with accelerated delivery right and remember, I want to highlight one point here. Well, I keep doing that. Budget, there's something called over delivery. If you put your budget of 400, there's no guarantee or there's no restriction that Google will only stop it at 400. Google can even go beyond or serve your ads to 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 an amount which is twice as much as your budget, which is which is 4, 4, 400 is your budget. It can even run up to 800 rupees, provided you have the positive balance if you're into manual payments or if you have a valid credit card, then Google will still do that, right? Now, I have seen situations where in few of my campaigns, a lot of my a lot of my clients usually, you know get this thing they have a budget of 400 but at times google can even serve up to 1500 rupees and we contact google and google even gives a credit so if anything out that has all happens you can directly contact google and you can you know check with them all right now additional settings remember guys this is a display network campaign so it is not something where you show your ad to people who are searching you're targeting people who you think might be interested or you put your ad across those people who you think would be you know prospect right so ad rotation and ad scheduling, ad scheduling again. You might be aware, so I say all day. And uh, or if you if you particularly think your your uh, you know your customers or you know, are kind of more 
uh, spending more time on those platforms in the evening time maybe you can run your ads in the evening time that depends on how you want to put across or if you have a strategy in place remember see marketing is a strategy or marketing is a process so you got to you got to have a strategy in the process you can't you can't directly go learn a strategy and say implement this no unless you know where your strategy place or where your strategy comes in in the entire journey i don't think you'd ever be able to use these platforms effectively see digital marketing is big google adwords is big you have to drive growth and that will happen not just when you learn a strategy when you learn a feature but you got to understand the entire journey and which strategy comes into which phase right and uh, yeah that is exactly what we teach you can continue to watch the other playlist with amazing content amazing very very in depth content probably i don't think you'll find anywhere in, in the whole country when it comes to teaching you know to that high standards and uh, yeah devices uh, in search network you don't have the option to choose which devices but a display network google gives you the options you you can target particular devices you can go check out and campaign url options i have created a particular video you can go check out i've, I've extensively taught about uh, campaign url options where you use value track parameters where you talk about using tracking templates in the tracking templates you use value track parameters or if you want to save a gcl id and you put gcl id in a value track parameter and value track parameter is again in the tracking template you can do some amazing stuff it's particularly for people who want to track at a very 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 high advanced level so right now i'm not going with that you have custom parameters as well you can define your own name and call it and see if if you're very familiar with google tag manager you understand what is a variable and if you understand variable everything will fall into its place it's not too too difficult right? so i would my 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 contention here is i'm not talking about that so i will i will stop right? dynamic that is not dynamic ads again forget conversions yeah you can select this new particular new campaign so just created a new account so I, i go with the ad group here and in ad group i say gmail and yeah it's asking you hey you, who you want your ads to be served so when you say who you want your ads to be served google is giving you options right you, if you read it here it says you know, you know to target all gmail users don't add targeting for keywords audiences or demographics right don't add if you want that if you want target all gmail users don't add you keep the open you call it open targeting just keep the targeting open but if you want target particular set of people then you have the targeting option the first one is keywords here keywords you see you can either keywords i think you might be aware so you can go type in keywords which may be digital marketing or whatever keywords you want right and i'll do that so it right now you see rich people based on terms related to your products and service when you click on the the question mark here enter words or phrases relevant to your products or service such as the names of the business or branch and they also appears to customers who might be interested in those terms we don't recommend entering website urls right now here audiences you can target particular set of audiences google gives you a lot of options then go and search browse you'll have a lot of audiences i think you might be aware There's something called affinity and custom affinity affinity is generally talking about the long term interest and you have something called in market that people are readily searching if you want to target those people who are readily looking for these kind of you know products or you know people are looking for something right now you can target but if you don't find something you know which is already available you can create a custom intent <coughs> right and if you want to implement remarketing for example people come to my site and that person happens to go to gmail and and maybe your ad can be served in the promotion section but remember this would happen only when uh, you know he is logged in he is logged in and uh, you have you have something called cross see google already in by default tracks the cross device or cross browser provided the user logs into the gmail and that is how the correct attribution can be done and now attribution is a very big concept i don't want to dwell into that right now but remember google is very very smart when it comes to this there is there's i want to emphasize one point here there's something called google signals right so in analytics okay if you if you enable that option what happens is you're telling google hey uh, you know i'm ready to you know you can use google signals and try and you know capture the user if he's moving across different browsers or different devices and you can tie and connect them to the same user even though they're accessing different browsers see what happens is if a user is browsing across devices he's treated as a new user if he's browsing across different browsers he's treated as a new user why the cookie information is not shared but if a user is logged into a google account then google will be able to tie all of them together that's when the correct attribution can be done so right forget about audiences and uh, sorry similar audiences and remarketing so uh, what i will do is i'll go and select one in market so yeah you have the option of choosing live events as well you can target people you know you know based on the live events for example here one of one of one of the most you know uh, one of one of the most feature that i love 
you know when i work with my clients is that i target these people because most of my clients are into you know education or or you know or of that sort or conferences right so what we do is we target those people who recently graduated right so 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 whoever is recently graduated and google understands yes these people have recently graduated so those are the people you are actually be served to you can use this option in display network campaign as well but here the placement is only gmail because it's a gmail specific campaign we call it gmail sponsored ads right or you, you know you can even go recently started a business starting a business think how much of data google has and 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 i would i, I sometimes really don't understand when people say you no know, google is not working for my business no it's not working for your business not because google is not doing it well or because you don't know how to how to effectively or the approach is not right right so call the students and you have you know home renovation people who recently renovated a home or recently you know renovating home soon or you know you, you can even target those people who started a new job or you know starting a new job soon or you can even target this for example see you know imagine imagine you know i am into cake business and i want to target those people who say i'm recently engaged or recently married so what you can do is you can target these people getting married or recently married you can target them and and you show them your ad which, which kind of which kind of tells them hey you can you can you know greet your you know husband or a wife is something see those people don't have the idea but your objective is to put across your message to those people those people will consider it idea that's how these people will buy your products or buy your service right so there's so many other things you can you, know, you have a new pit you have a new you know purchasing a home right but i'm not going with these options i'm going with something called live events uh, in market audience in market audience these are the people who are really searching that's the definition of in market if you don't have what you're searching for then you can create a custom intent audience if i have to show you custom intent audience you can go create name and add search terms so you can add the search terms you know what people search on google so what happens is this will create an audience of all those people who are searching something similar to what you're entering here and for example if i type in something called digital marketing so what google does is right so this bucket will hold hold those people who are going to google.com and entering search terms which are related to this and my ad will appear to those people not on google.com remember because it's a not not search network campaign ads will appear on gmail to these people who searched on google i hope you i hope you able to understand what i'm trying to uh, tell you here right so i'm not i'm not going with it so maybe maybe i i go with something called uh, let's check give me one moment maybe i can search here saying uh okay let let's search this term something that right it show it show me a lot of you know, opportunities a lot of suggestions so i can just go choose and facebook is very very good when it comes to these kind of features you just go and search and find suggestions and you can target literally amazing audiences right but but again again facebook plays at certain phase in the entire journey so you can't say no you know i would start with both you got you got to figure out you know where which platform or which marketing channel will work so i'm targeting these people who are social media enthusiasts you see once i select that it is added to the right side and then demographics again if you want target particular gender particular age groups yes i don't want to show my ads to people above 45 years maybe i can i can remove that you know this is again household income is only available for india remember it's only available for india so for now let's ignore it or am i targeting see the two types of targeting here automated uh, conservative targeting aggressive targeting aggressive automation is nothing but what when you add some targeting what google does is google will try and understand your targeting pattern and try and reach those people who are similar to the people who you are targeting with with the, with the objective that you will serve your ad to a lot of people but remember there is one condition your budget will be exhausted very soon right if you go with conservative yeah aim to get more conversions like the ones you've targeted as a current cost per uh, this this can work only when you have a lot of data but for now i would not recommend so i would say not automated targeting but what i have seen in my experience is if you work with clients who have a lot of budget and you want to reach a lot of people and create a lot of awareness at a massive level then you can go with this because your focus is not on sales your focus is on reaching a lot of people and trying to convey your brand but right right ad group bid what's the minimum amount you want to pay uh, so i say maybe 20 rupees per uh, each click and then you create your ad this is the final thing that will serve to user you can you can define who you want your ads to appear what time what day what budget but finally what user see is this so upload gmail ads no i don't want to do that so i'm going to create a gmail ad here you see how the template appears you write your business name firstly you write your business name so i would write make marketer and headline so i would say digital marketing bootcamp right now it's 26 yeah this is a problem this is a problem this is one of the headache when it comes to uh, google ads 
so I would say digital marketing immersive no it is again going so maybe I say uh, let me use this I don't use the word course because I don't recommend digital I, I I don't even believe when somebody tells me digital marketing is a course it's not a course it's a strategy for growth and unless you understand this basic point you will never be able to make a career or build a career so description I would write India's first 100% digital marketing bootcamp or I would write India's finest whatever right final URL I want people to go to my home page I will give it as www.makemarket.com now if you have multiple ads if you have multiple ads what you can do is you can use the option of UTM tags here but UTM tags generally not recommended in Google ads but you still want to do that remember you don't change the original source so if I say UTM source is equal to Google here the case sensitive remember guys and UTM underscore medium is equal to maybe you can put CPC or you can put display which is good or and UTM underscore campaign is equal to gmail underscore ad underscore one so just to try just to be very very certain that these people have come to my website by clicking on the first ad in gmail right so I know Generally, what I do is I have a spreadsheet. I put all of them in spreadsheets so that I forget because naming convention is very, very important. If you are into industry, and remember, when you start off, you might think, okay, I am giving UTM tags. But if you if you work in the industry, survive in the industry, then remember you got to remember all those naming convention when it comes to UTM tags, and that's very, very important, guys. Right? And images, you have to give the images. You have to give the videos, and if you can even upload catalog images. Right? You have more options here as well. You see, you can give a custom teaser. Wow. See, this is how it will appear on mobile. If I select the option of computer, see how the ad will appear. You see this? This is how it will appear. Right? Full preview is this one. Right? You can you can give all the images and you can simply or you can save it or you can cancel it. And I click on create a campaign. I don't, I don't want to take you through the entire process because my strategy keeps changing and I have different images to different audiences and that's how you run. You don't target. You do not have one one message to everybody. That will never work. You got to make sure that you have different messages for different people and that is where you got to understand the journey and which phase, whether it's an awareness phase or the consideration phase or people who are ready to buy. So once you figure out, that's when you try and you know surround the user you know in such a way that you propel him or to turn your prospect into conversion i hope this video you know taught you at least an overview about the gmail campaigns and uh, if you have never tried gmail campaigns i would recommend you to try with at least 100 rupees a day so maybe after a month you'll have at least some data because it's important see you know marketing the fundamentals of marketing is you got to make sure that you are connected to your prospect until he becomes your customer and that's a whole essence and that is why if you talk about marketing the very fundamental element of marketing is visibility and uh, and for visibility you don't care about which platforms you got to make sure that you're you know you're, you're there within their circuit right thank you so much continue to watch the other videos in my channel you will definitely learn a lot of stuff if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you go subscribe and watch i've created an excellent playlist on google ads we have an excellent playlist on google analytics i don't think you'd ever find a channel in the country when it comes to teaching so much of Google Ads and Analytics and GTM and again I want to tell you don't learn from institutes because they don't teach you not even 5% of what I've put on YouTube if you really wanted to learn something go beyond the regular digital marketing institutes that is how you build a career because I've seen a lot of people do training join a company after two years they quit the entire domain and they pursue another domain that's a that's a very you know na nastiest or you know I don't know what, what to call it decision do ever make you regret that's why if you really want to build a career we have something called bootcamp you check out a bootcamp makemarketer.com it is India's first 100% real-time digital marketing bootcamp there's no bootcamp in the whole country that even comes close or no training that even comes close because we don't teach you on normal mark websites you you work at a very advanced level 
you want to catch a glimpse of it go to youtube check out a playlist you'll understand thank you so much and i will see you with other videos thank you Thank <laughs> you.